Hi, welcome um, to the show. Uh, I have today with me Victor van der Berg, firmer SE. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Kusters, um, and we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, and that's firmer HVX, a really cool solution. And well, Victor is going to tell us all about it. Yeah. Um, so, Victor, what is the what's the main purpose of HVX in a nutshell? Okay, uh, HVX is going to help you to simplify your, let's say, multi-cloud operations. So on-premises data center to the cloud yeah. or between different uh, on-premises data centers. Okay, cool. And I understood there are two versions, right? Yeah, we have uh, HCX Advanced and HCX uh, Enterprise. And those two versions offer different features, of course. So uh, let's have a closer look on that. Yeah, because yeah. we get a lot of questions from customers. Um, so uh, yeah, I think it's a good idea to, uh, to elaborate on it. Okay, very good. So HCX. It's all about connecting different data centers, different clouds to each other, and doing cool stuff there. Okay. So first of all, one of the cool things HX uh, can do for you is it can help you with uh, virtual machine migrations. Okay. So we can do migrations with HX between on-premises data center, migrate a virtual machine to the cloud or to yeah. another data center. A uh, second uh, option where, or second thing where HX is going to help you is with uh, networking. Because that's always a struggle with, it, with every migration. Yeah, right? yeah. so it's, it's very uh, easy to connect different sites. Uh, it's very uh, easy to create a, la a layer two network extension so we can stretch networks across different data centers or across an uh, on-premises data center and a public cloud. Yeah. Um, and also we can do some WAN optimization, so optimize the traffic between those sites. So that's a second interesting uh, option that uh, HCX uh, provides you. And the last feature that's part of HCX is disaster recovery. We can do um, replication of virtual machines yeah. to another site. We can do a fillover, we can do a test fillover. Uh, so it's really easy to set up uh, disaster recovery with uh, HCX. That does sound a lot like SRM, Site Recovery Manager. Yeah. Um, is this going to replace Site Recovery Manager? or? No, it's not going to replace Site Recovery Manager one, because uh, Site Recovery Manager uh, offers some extra capabilities like uh, DR orchestration. Yeah. Uh, you can create a runbook and do an automated fillover, and that's something HCX is not going to do for you. It's more like what you can do with feature replication already, okay. only then on in a um, multi-site, multi-cloud environment, pur purely based on a appliance-based architecture, because that's uh, unique when you talk about uh, HCX. Yeah. The whole solution is based on uh, virtual appliances. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So it's just deploying a, a bunch of virtual <coughs> appliances, and you get these features uh, available. Um, this is, by the way. Uh, the advanced version of HCX that offers these capabilities. We also have an enterprise version. Okay. So, and with enterprise, we have some additional uh, capabilities. So, the first uh, extra capability is OS Assistant Migration. So, okay. what we can do uh, when we talk about migration, it's about a feature virtual machine to a feature virtual machine. Yeah. With OS assisted migration, we can also migrate Hyper-V uh, based virtual machines and KVM based virtual machines. Okay, so this will basically take care of the conversion of the virtual machine. Format. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Another feature that um, HCX Enterprise offers is a bulk migration feature or option. And um, this bulk migration is uh, with vMotion. So what this means is that if we had a lot of different virtual machines, we yeah. can do a initial <coughs> replication and uh, from one side to the cloud, for example. Yeah. And at the uh, point in time that you want to do the actual fill over, that's a V-motion, so no downtime. Okay. And using this feature, you can do um, a migration from on-premises to the public cloud for a big set of virtual machines. Okay. So I can do a large-scale migration from yeah. an on-prem data center to a cloud environment Correct. using uh, bulk migration, which is you know, uh, replicating the data yeah. in the background and doing a cutover, a live migration without any downtime. Yeah, what it actually does is it, uh, it does, uh, first um, completes the initial replication, 
then a delta migration or a delta yeah. replication occurs uh, in combination with the V-motion. Okay. That's actually what's happening there. So another thing that uh, HCX Enterprise <coughs> offers you is um, uh, DR, but in combination with SRM. So we can use HCX for the replication, yeah. but connect HCX to SRM, or actually the other way around, connect SRM to uh, HCX, use the replication functionality of HCX, yeah. and use the, um, uh, the, the runbook capability, uh, the automated disaster recovery feature of uh, SRM. Okay, it's so also possible. So SRM leverages the... Um the replication and the migration part of the um, uh, of HCX, yeah, and more the, the complex runbooks with all kinds of actions that need to be taken yeah. in the orchestration layer that that's being handled by SRM. Yeah. Okay, by cool. the way, SRM is not included in HCX Enterprise. It's still a separate solution, but you can that's use it in combination with HCX Enterprise. Okay. okay. And uh, the last feature I want to uh, uh, mention here is uh, what we call mobility groups, and this feature was released quite recently and with mobility groups we can uh, create create logical groups a lo logical group of virtual machines yeah. um, and uh, migrate them all together to another site or maybe migrate them back so specifically in a scenario where you're uh, migrating a multi-tier application yeah. and you want to uh, migrate all parts of that application you can put them in a mobility group and uh, use this this construct to do the actual migration to uh, VMC on AWS or right. wherever you want to go. Yeah, that makes sense because you don't want to pull a application apart and leave, for example, a part of the application in a in a non-prem data center no. and put another uh, part of the application in the cloud. So yeah, okay. So this creates consistency within the application. Exactly, cool. exactly. Cool. Uh, what I want to add here, what's uh, interesting to know, I think, is when we talk about migration, yeah. we have several options there. We can do a cold migration. But HCX uh, also offers the option to do a vMotion-based migration between the clouds. Okay. So from on-premises to VMware Cloud on AWS. Um, and the requirements we have there are lower than when you're doing a regular vMotion okay. using the standard vSphere functionality. So what are the numbers? So the numbers, if you want to do a vMotion migration um, from on-premises to VMware Cloud on AWS, you need a direct connect dedicated connection yeah. with a minimum bandwidth of 250 uh, megabits. Okay. Um, if you're using HCX for that, it's only 100 megabits and it's not required to have a DX or direct connect okay. connection. Okay, so, so you can use the internet VPN to do the migration part. Well, well actually HCX is Managing the connection for you, okay. so you don't even have to configure a VPN connection because HCX is doing that okay. for you. So I don't have to do VPN tunnels anymore. That will uh, by itself make your life uh, <laughs> easier. So yeah. Oh, cool. So so what do I need to do on if I need to want to deploy HCX on prem at a bunch of appliances? You said. Yeah. Let's take VMware Cloud and AWS. What do I need to do to make it work? So. Uh, when we're talking about scenario with VMware Cloud on AWS, yeah. uh, HCX is part of the offering, so it's included. Yeah. Okay. Um, the only thing you have to do is deploy the um, um, enterprise appliance on-premises, yeah. connect it to the cloud. Uh, on the cloud side, VMware manages HCX for you. Okay, and it's already there. It's already there. Okay. So the only thing you have to do is deploy the first HCX appliance yeah. on-premises, and depending on the features you want to use, additional appliances are deployed. Okay. They will all connect to the VMware Cloud on AWS, and you're all set and you're ready to use this solution. Okay, cool. And, and on the networking side, do we need to open any ports or? The only port you uh, need to open uh, is on the side of VMware Cloud on AWS. Okay. It's port uh, uh, 4500. Okay. Um, inbound VPN. on the VMware Cloud side. Uh, outbound on the on-premises side. Yeah. And that's it. So cool. very easy deployment. That takes away a lot of the, of the complexity of setting up such a um, multi-site topology. Uh, yeah. Correct. Yeah, that's true. Awesome. Um, yeah, so I've been hearing a lot of, uh, you know, the, 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 the customer reference cases where uh, VMware states that they migrate hundreds, thousands of VMs over a weekend yeah. to VMC. Yeah. I get it now. It's HX, right? This is the solution, uh, Jeffrey. Really cool. Yeah. 
Thank you very much, Victor, for explaining HEX. Okay. Um, I think we're going to do a next video, which we're going to dive a bit more into the uh, the architecture of HEX. Sure, sure. Yeah. And um, yeah, so thanks. And okay. uh, stay You're tuned welcome. for the next video. Did you like this video? Please subscribe to our channel uh, because we have a lot more where this came from. Uh, and you'll be the first to hear when a new video is released.